Let's fat wash a rum using coconut oil. Hi, I'm Jer. Welcome to Kill Devil, where we focus on rum and cocktails, and the things we use to make those cocktails. Today we are going to be fat washing a rum using coconut oil. Fat washing is essentially the process where you take something with fat, soak it in alcohol, extract the fat, and leave the flavor behind. And we're going to do that with coconut oil. So we're going to leave the fat, or we're going to leave the coconut flavor in the rum, but extract the fat. A note on the rum. I am going to be using Captain Morgan's original spiced rum. You can use any rum that you choose. I'm using this one because I have a recipe that calls specifically for a coconut oil fat washed Captain Morgan spiced rum. So that's why I'm using it. But use a rum that you like, something that you think would go well with coconut. Let's talk about proportions. Normally when I'm doing a fat wash, specifically using coconut oil, I'll go for 240 milliliters of coconut oil to one bottle of rum. And by one bottle, I mean 750 milliliters. So that is about a proportion of one to three. So if you want to scale up or down, try those proportions. Note that this bottle of Captain Morgan is a, a liter bottle, so that's 1,000 milliliters. So I'm going to have to measure that out as well. So 240 milliliters is one cup. So I'm going to take my coconut oil and I'm going to measure out one cup. Note that I am using organic and unprocessed or unrefined coconut oil. This may take a moment. We'll see in a bit. So that's one cup. I'm going to put that in my saucepan. And I'm going to take this over to the stovetop and I'm going to melt it down over a low heat. I want it to melt but not cook. I'm not going to show you that. You'll just have to trust me that's what I'm doing. While my coconut oil is melting, I'm going to measure out my rum, 750 milliliters. And I would do the American equivalent, but I don't care enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see, where's my milliliters? Right there. Seven hundred fifty milliliters. I'm going to put that into a sealable, freezeable container, and we'll wait for my oil to melt. My coconut oil has melted, so I'm going to pour that into the rum. I'm going to seal it up and give it a couple shakes. Now to let it sit. Different recipes will tell you different amounts of time to sit. Anywhere from two to six hours seems to work. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll see you back in a moment. Three hours later, and this is what it looks like. As you can see, a lot of the fat has floated to the top. The next step is to take the same container without doing anything else to it and putting it in the freezer. Different recipes will say different amounts of times in the freezer, anywhere from two hours all the way up to overnight. I'm gonna leave it in overnight, so we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, here we are the next morning. Um, as you can see, my fat has frozen on the top. Um, the reasons I had an angle is because my freezer here is a little bit smaller than the last time I tried this, than when the last time I tried it. Um, it also note that I've got some liquid on the top. So normally what you're gonna have to do is punch a hole through here. Um, because of the angle, I guess I don't have to, so that's lucky me. Um, you can use chopsticks, you can use a knife, cut a hole so that you can pour this out. And we're gonna pour this through cheesecloth to make sure that the fat is all separated. And that is really it. Well, once this is finished straining, I'm gonna put it into another jar and I'm gonna keep it in the fridge until I use it. And there you have it, a fat washed rum, or fat washed, yeah, coconut oil fat washed rum. Enjoy. Question of the day, have you ever fat washed an alcohol? If so, what did you fat wash and what did you fat wash it with? Let me know in the comments down below. Note that there are ways to support the channel if you're so inclined. If you made it this far, you might as well give me a like and a subscribe for fat washing Captain Morgan's rum. Um, we do have social media. Check out the links down below. And if you want a t-shirt, contact me through those social medias and we'll make sure you get one. Cheers.